When ionizing radiation, particularly gamma rays, interact with a digital sensor, they leave telltale spots. Here is video from a network security camera placed close to 22 terabecquerel of cesium-137. Each speck represents a gamma ray hit on the image sensor. GammaPix examines the video stream looking for these events and analyzes the results. This is video from an iPhone that's had a small 370 megabecquerel source put nearby. Again, the specs are radiation hits. They last for just a moment and appear on a single image. As video is collected and analyzed, the software assesses the amount of radiation in the local environment. GammaPix also works with ordinary surveillance video. In this clip, the camera is looking at the housing of a 7.4 terabecquerel source. The radiation signal is again visible in the video as transient specs and streaks. This is the GammaPix Pro app running on a Moto G smartphone. For this demonstration, I'm running it in manual mode, but the software also runs automatically in the background. The green dot that just appeared indicates that no radiation is present. Let's demonstrate GammaPix with a very small radioactive source. Notice that when I put the phone close to the source, it detects the emitted gamma rays and displays the presence of radiation. As the data is collected and analyzed, yellow points begin to appear. The professional version, GammaPix Pro, is configurable to wake up every 5 to 30 minutes to take a new reading. If the camera is covered and the device is not busy, it will make a measurement. If the user is in danger, the app will notify him. When a reading is complete, the data is encrypted and sent to the secure server where it can be analyzed and displayed with other collected readings. This is an access camera we're using for development. GammaPix also works with network cameras from other companies such as Panasonic or Bosch. These cameras are generally used for surveillance, but in this case we've covered the camera lens. GammaPix works with security video of scenes that are not too busy or bright, but it is most sensitive in the dark. Here we see GammaPix running on this computer, but it also runs on so-called smart cameras, eliminating the need for a dedicated analysis computer. GammaPix can also send its output to other monitoring software or to a cloud server. At the moment, this camera isn't detecting anything, but as soon as we put the radiation source near the camera, the radiation is signal is detected, and in about 30 seconds, the system goes into alert. Public safety organizations create a safety cordon at an exposure rate of 20 microsievert per hour. By doing that, they keep the public safe from harm. Using smartphones and security cameras, it's possible to quickly determine where the safety line should be placed. The sensitivity of the system depends on the model of the camera in use, but GammaPix will typically detect 20 microsievert per hour within 15 to 45 seconds. Lower levels of radiation are detected in somewhat more time. Detection of radiation using security camera video will take somewhat longer due to the visible image and the way the software compensates for that complication. GammaPix has been successfully tested by several United States, European, Japanese, and international laboratories and counter-proliferation evaluators. It has received United States Department of Homeland Security Safety Act DTE designation, attesting to the system's reliability. Looking at the user interface, the red boxes on the image at right indicate where radiation has been detected by the GammaPix system. This alert adjudication display can be used by local or remote supervisors to confirm that a radiation anomaly is occurring and will communicate real-time alerts for enforcement purposes. We've talked about how GammaPix works. Now we'd like to show you how the data can help you identify radiation anomalies. This map displays the environmental data that comes from the distributed detectors as collected by the secure servers we mentioned earlier. The green hexagons show compliant data, that is data that shows no threats or unnaturally high readings that would indicate contamination. The pins sticking in the map show readings that have an excess, in this case due to our validation testing with radioactive sources. The reading that was added to this pin came from a new measurement we just took in our lab. We built into the system the ability to send command and control signals to deployed devices. That capability allows headquarters staff to initiate extra readings simultaneously by all devices or change the cadence of readings, for example from a reading every 30 minutes to one every 5 minutes. 
The map-based data display empowers your regulatory and public safety officials to track offending vehicles or individuals.